What I wanted to be was an aer aeronautical engineer, and uh, you know, the fact of the matter is not. <laughs> Come on. I didn't know what I wanted to be growing up. So, you know, I, I had a bit of trouble with the law and I wasn't doing the right things. Fighting was uh, God seen, I believe, and um, it saved my life. What happened was uh, I got into an altercation just uh, over here. You know, I was trying to help a friend out who was getting, getting beaten up just over there in that little corridor. <laughs> We ended up sitting side by side, getting beaten up. <laughs> uh, back in the days, it was called uh, Don't Tell Mamas, and um, this is where I started my uh, my fighting career. And I uh, ended up meeting my first trainer, which is uh, Sam. I could have been arrested from the cops because the car was right here, but uh, you know, luckily he, uh, you know, saved me from getting arrested. And he asked me uh, to, if I was keen on fighting a Muay Thai fight, which I didn't have a clue about. Just thought I was a tough. So I thought I was. You think you think you tough. <laughs> the following week, I was um, fighting a Muay Thai fight in this very place. You didn't know about that one, cousins. <laughs> it's all over. You know, with no martial arts pedigree, it's pretty good for, for someone, you know, fight at the top of the world, two different sports, you know, be the only K1 world champion outside of, out of Europe, and to be one of the best fighters on the planet. You didn't know about the best fighter on the planet, cousin. I don't consider myself a violent person. I just, um, I believe uh, I'm just pretty good at, at uh, adapting to different situations. And I like to be the one that people don't worry about because when I come and steal their lunch, <laughs> I'm already gone. <laughs> so when I'm already, you know, I've already knocked them out and moving here, they go, oh, well, I didn't expect that. Well, you know, what did you expect? <laughs> I'm a New Zealander, first of all. I was born in New Zealand, you know, my parents are from Samoa, so my heritage is Samoan, but, um, you know, I fight out of Sydney. I got more, you know, more recognition in Australia than I, get in, than I got in New Zealand <laughs> at, at one stage in my career. And, you know, people didn't want to give a rat's ass about Mark Hunt, but, you know, Mark Hunt was beating some of the best fighters in the world. I was pioneering a sport that, was, that wasn't even recognised down these ways. You know, I considered myself, even after six losses, one of the best fighters in the world. And, um, you know, I mean, you know, right now it's a bit different. You know, they don't treat me, they treat me a lot better than they how it used to be, but um, there is not many fighters from this side of the world. You know, to make a living out of it for such a long time. He has got all of Verdun's attention. Big takedown, but he's in the When I took the last contract, I know, I mean, it, uh, it wasn't about money, it was about, uh, you know, proving people wrong and you know, say that I wasn't good enough, you know what I mean? Or say he's not a good enough fighter or whatever. Well, I mean, the only opponent I'm, you know, cautious of and has always been freaking a problem with me is um, just the battle with myself. I've fallen in the hole so many times. I mean, shucks, you can't really do much else to me now. And then you're going to tell, you're going to dictate to me when I'm going to leave. I'll leave when I want to leave. <laughs> you want to make me leave? Try and make me leave. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying it, you know, I've got a great contract. You know, it's been a hard walk, but, uh, yeah, it's not over yet. Mark Super Samoan!